Hi there, I'm Eitan, and welcome back to Wix Wiz. Today is going to be a little different than our usual tutorials, and it's going to be more of an announcement. Uh, I am going to be walking you through a new web component that I built using the Wix blocks, which is currently in alpha development stage. That means it's not 100% ready yet, but you can use it, you can try it out. And what I built is an AI chatbot that you can install on your website using no code and change some settings in order to determine how this chatbot will behave. So just to give you a glimpse of how it looks inside of the blocks editor, you can see it kind of looks a little bit like editor X. And basically there's a component that's built out and there's lots of backend elements that are built into it as well with code, but you won't need to touch any of that. All you'll need to do is just some settings once you install it on your website. The crux of the matter is that in order to install it, I personally need to be a collaborator on your website and add the app. Uh, this is called a private app at the moment. Maybe in the future, Wix will open it up and let uh, it be shared in a more comfortable manner. But for the time being, what would have to be done is that once uh, I become a collaborator on your website, I would go right over here to add or go over here to add apps. And here you can see that there are private apps. And here I have some different apps that I have been working on. And what I'll be installing is the GPT-3 chatbot. So you just go over here and I click install app. And here you have a readme, which kind of goes through how to use this app. This is the first version. And the really cool part of this is that as I make updates to the app, you will also be able to update the app on your website. Uh, once the app is installed, you can go over to widgets, it should be under, let me find it, my widgets. And then here you have the design preset for the chatbot. So you just click over here and you add it to your website. And once it's added to the site, and this will work on both Editor uh, X and the regular editor. Even though the component is built in Editor X, I just adjust the height like this, and that's all. Okay, so this is ready uh, for you. And before it's 100% uh, done, what we have to do is just change some of the settings. So I'm going to go over here to Settings. And what you'll see here is a panel where you can set up several things. So first you have to give the chatbot an ID. So I'm just going to give an ID of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you can give it whatever ID you want, but make sure that if you install this widget several times on your site and you want these chatbots to behave in different ways, you're going to have to give them different IDs. So this is my ID and I'm just going to name my chatbot. So let's call it Aton's helper. And then the purpose of this chatbot is to help people visiting my website. And it's going to be a friendly, professional, helpful uh, bot. OK, so these are just some settings that you can set for the chatbot. And then uh, if you go over here to the other settings cog, then you'll see that there are some advanced settings. And these are settings that will allow you to adjust things related to the API. So you can set the um, the model, okay? So it's the default is uh, DaVinci, but you can downgrade it to one of the uh, faster models. Um, it's kind of a trade-off between speed and accuracy. And you can read more about this and tokens and temperature on the, um, on the uh, OpenAI website, uh, but it comes with these defaults, which I think are pretty good. So you don't even have to touch it if you don't want to. Uh, after we set up our settings, all that's left to do is to publish our site. And last but not least, we are going to need to set up our OpenAI API key. So if you go over to your secrets manager, you're going to need to create a new secret with this specific name, OpenAI underscore API underscore key. And you can see here that 
I'm not going to show you what the value is, but here I have my OpenAI key that you have to get from the OpenAI website. And once that is set up, your bot will be ready to go. So let's check it out. I'm going to go and view my live site and go to the page that it's on, dot slash chatbot. And here you see the installed chatbot, and it starts off with, hi, how can I help you? And if I write here, I'm looking for demos. And now the uh, API is running and retrieving an answer. And the helper is, absolutely, I'd be happy to show you some demos of my work. And thanks. What's your favorite color? Sorry, I don't understand the question. Could you please rephrase it? Okay, so this is just an example of a conversation. And this chatbot is still in beta. Uh, that means that this is the first version that I'm releasing to the public. And I'm looking for people to test it out. So if you're interested, um, I'll probably let maybe five or 10 people uh, just try it out on their website and give some feedback. Um, if you're interested in helping collaborate in some way, let me know. And eventually I will be offering it, um, you know, for a small fee for people just to install on their site and enjoy as a no code solution to an AI chatbot on your website. So uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will also be leaving a link in the description to this demo so you can come and check it out. And there will be some more information on this page regarding how to sign up for the waitlist and stuff like that. So as always, thanks for watching and see you next time.